maybe it's a good idea to walk to the valley and uphill. I haven't been doing that for a while, so yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got me doing something. And also, you know, well, I've been visiting the monk. I cannot go there until maybe January or something gets boring and annoying as well. And then also, I'm like, you know, it's December, I'm not doing anything. But I've been watching quite a few movies and stuff, so I'm sort of like, yeah, I've <laughs> seen enough for a while. Now I really want to be moving, doing something. So, yeah, some money arrived on my account. Don't know what for, so uh, I ordered cat and bird food. And that'll arrive tomorrow. So you see me buy cat food and bird food quite often. Quite a bit. So yeah, I'm already getting wet shoes. See that? Maybe I should wear the, the plastic shits that I got. The trousers. You know, but it's just a few, like right here, you know, otherwise when I wear that plastic pants, you kind of get uh, wet by sweating. So I don't want to do that. And again, I got some in here. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm hard. Uh, how is it called? <sighs> well, in Swiss German, there is a saying like, hard to take something. You know, I'm, I'm not getting. Oh, you know, any like this. Just have to figure out how I'm doing it. Till I'm where I'm going to. Like I will get home and I will have probably wet something, you know. But it's not, uh, you know, in the wood. The snow isn't as deep and like that. Yeah, I can deal. I should wear those plastic pants though because if it starts snowing then I'm just out here with my stockings and you know that's kind of not enough but yeah I'm not cold my feet aren't cold usually when I was starting downhill my feet were cold from the very first moment and now I'm wearing these boots and I got a sheep fur in it so I'm not really uh, feeling you know wet or something cold I feel all dried dry and warm yeah it's just that I have to think of some kind of protection you know to add to those boots so I will uh, yeah. Just take two plastic bags when I'm at the shop downhill and then when I'm up again I will uh, either order these uh, things you know that can go on top of boots and shoes so that no snow ends up in the boot. Oops. I'll see. Today there's no sun out so it's kind of, you know, that's what it looks like when there's no sun out. Kind of. Yeah. Oof. <laughs>
So yeah. There you see it's all wet already. And I was saying I'm dry. Well. You know, once snow falls in here, then yes. But I'm warm, I promise. I haven't been doing anything. Past few days I've watched old black and white movies with, um... I'm gonna watch some Gregory Peck and Cary Grant. I watched all about him and then I watched stuff about Hebron, a documentary, and then... I watched some... Um, what else? <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I started watching a few video films, movies like uh, Charade. But yeah, I don't really like The Hebron. But I like Clark. Cary Grant. I wanted to say Clark Gable. <laughs> they all got these, you know, clicking um, vowels and consonant names like Clark Gable, Cary Grant. He was um, uh, something with A. Leech. That was his real name. <laughs> so they make up these movie uh, characters names so that then they can go and own it Archibald or whatever Leech the Clark Cary Grant sorry cannot go anywhere with his name it belongs to the studio I need to go to the toilet winter months where I'm not doing anything else but just like relax it's my birthday month so do not fall into any depression or whatever you know I try to just do whatever seems to be fun which is eating drinking yeah just have fun being a up all night, watch movies, sleep when I'm asleep, falling asleep, I don't work, you know, usually I go like 14 hours doing art, and now I'm not doing anything, so it's like, yeah, but I get bored. <laughs> so they say two weeks of holidays and not doing any like training exercises with your mind you already start to kind of even after two weeks you start to become lazy in your brains just because when you just lay in the sun or don't do anything you become a potato <laughs> So, yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, I'm not going to live here forever, but it's so difficult to find somebody that would take care of the cats when I go ask, so are you willing to feed three cats and the birds during winter time, the cats all the time, of course, I get answers like, it's no problem, I told you. But it shouldn't be like, it's no problem. It should be like, I'm delighted to have this meaningful <sighs> stuff that I can do for animals, you know. And it doesn't cost that much. I just ordered for 50 Swiss francs. So again, that'll do like, you know, it, it could be enough for... It could last for maybe two months or three months, but I give away such a lot. So the f 
foxes get to eat a lot of the bird and uh, the sunflower seeds the foxes eat as well and the cat food as well and then there is the mountain the blackbirds they come in flocks like 20 25 of them so when they eat they eat a lot so they come back next morning and then it's like how am I gonna do it so that the small birds have something to eat at all times but the big ones aren't eating it like within a day you know they can go and get their food anywhere like in the soil and stuff but the little ones I want to take care of I know not just those big fat birds yeah I should hurry up because I need to go to the toilet this is a good um, to walk because I don't sli slide on the ground like this I could even walk faster you know like running a little bit it wouldn't uh, be so difficult because when there is a lot of snow like this then with my shoes I'm not sliding yes so yeah I've been visiting the monk then I was at home doing nothing which is good I always do something like I started writing a song again I'm not so keen on <laughs> finishing another song and then think of a melody and you know the lyrics come first and I write some melody to it, two melodies so that I have possibility to change and have kind of a refrain to change back and forth and then uh, you know put it up on YouTube and Bandcamp and everything and then have no reaction at all that's just a fact. When you're honest and you know about the camp trails and you just have it somewhere on your account, they're not gonna make it any big. They're not gonna list it as a video that's ready to watch. You're just gonna be buried. But one thing is for sure, once I'm buried, for real, once I'm dead, you know, and someone stumbles across my work I have not been licking up my way to stardom or money I've always been doing what seems right to me and not what will make me rich or famous so for that it makes it even more worth looking at my work nobody will go and say oh she's sold out you know, it's just not possible to say that because I've never done that. Yeah, so I need to pee here, then continue walking. 